So regarding uh, my research, the, the main focus is on understanding uh, tobacco dependence and developing treatments for dependent smokers. Uh, we, my colleagues and I, did a number of studies which influenced the uh, tobacco control policies worldwide and we also developed a number of treatments which are used around the world. Regarding e-cigarettes, that's a relatively new development and our current studies are looking at toxins content, how much nicotine people get from them, how quickly they get it, uh, the behavior of e-cigarette users and so on. There is a remarkable controversy around electronic cigarettes and I think future textbooks will be writing about it. There's going to be books about this controversy. Uh, some people see them as uh, a huge potential for benefiting public health and other people are trying vigorously to get rid of them. Uh, the reason for it is that it's a disruptive technology. Uh, it's a bit like when uh, digital cameras came about and they killed film cameras industry and lots of related industries. And e-cigarettes have a potential to do something similar. Uh, it threatens not just sales of cigarettes, but it already massively undermines sales of stop smoking medications, which is a big business, and also threatens uh, lots of established positions in tobacco control. Uh, and so there's a lot of people out there who are vigorously trying to get rid of them. Potentially they are revolutionary. Uh, they pose n very small or maybe no health risks. They do not attract new users to nicotine so far. Uh, and they have a potential to help smokers to switch to something safe from something tremendously dangerous. And so if on a population scale, sm smokers switched from conventional cigarettes to e-cigarettes, there will be an enormous public health benefit. Uh, what is the purpose of what we are doing? We are trying to help regulators and politicians to put their policies on a sort of rational basis to provide evidence which would guide such regulations. At the moment, it's really driven by vested interests and uh, you know, unsupported uh, worries about lots of things which really they shouldn't worry about. And I have to say, when e-cigarettes came about, Initially, like everybody else, I thought it doesn't look too good. It's just another attempt to keep people smoking when smoking rates have been declining for years, although not very quickly, but they were. And so the first reaction is sort of understandably negative. It looks like a cigarette. People still are getting nicotine. I think the key point is that nicotine itself is harmless, which is something most people do not appreciate. Uh, nicotine itself is probably on par with drinking coffee in terms of health risks. It's the chemicals in smoke which kill people. And here you don't have it. And once you start to think about it and look through the fact and you realize the potential of the device, uh, you, know, you change your opinion. So the opinions should change with evidence rather than staying rigid whatever comes and saying this is evil and we have to get rid of it.